Good morning, YouTube. Just chilling out here in the middle of Sedona. Wanted to do a quick little uh, video. We got an amazing uh, campsite last night uh, here off some BLM land. Uh, got in a little bit late, so it was a little busy. Um, as you can see, there's, there's some people moving in and out. But uh, nonetheless, got a pretty damn good spot, I have to say. Wide open views, no one in the area other than, you know, the people we were parked with last night and the busy road behind us, but otherwise, you know, pretty good camp spot. We're gonna go do some uh, mountain biking today, maybe a little hike, and kind of we'll see where it takes us. Anyway, stick around, find out. Hi, we're Chris and Tracy, and this is our van, Helen of Troivado. We bought Helen last year during COVID after all of our international trips were going down the cancellation pathway. Being in the healthcare industry, we were still tied to our full-time jobs, but really needed to get away. Well, safe to say it's been a lot of fun this last year. We've traveled nearly 25,000 miles in our van and have visited nine states and 10 national parks. We just hit our one year anniversary, or as I like to call it, the anniversary, and we've decided what better way to celebrate than bringing you along for the ride. So we've decided to document the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe to follow along on our part-time fan life. Driving through uh, what, what I would imagine is downtown Sedona, and I just wanted to apologize as a Californian for all the traffic. I see quite a lot of Californians in uh, the line up here and uh, I would imagine on a Friday at 11.40, it's not normally uh, uh, bumper to bumper traffic, but uh, well, a lot of people uh, seem to uh, wanna get out and explore other uh, places than uh, California at the moment. So I, I, I don't really know why. Uh, I seem to like it there, but uh, Apologies ahead of time. Hey, what's going on everyone? Made it to Sedona, and now I'm getting ready to kind of do a hike here in the Red Rock Canyon area. I'm gonna go do, um, I think it's called the Bell Mountain Loop hike. Um, one of the reasons I chose it is it's uh, dog friendly. I got the dogs with me, um, and uh, it's also somewhat easy. Um, they say it's moderate, but by the looks of it, it looks pretty easy. Um, about 250 foot gain and maybe two miles tops, I would guess. I don't know, it's like 87 degrees outside, um, so it's gonna be a pretty easy hike. Um, I got kind of my essentials here. Kind of wanted to go over what I usually take with me in the hike, especially with the dogs. Um, I got a little extra food, as you can see there. Most important, water for myself, water for the dogs. Um, I got a satellite communication um, device, just in case of an emergency, even though I don't expect one there today. And then also a bite and a sting kit, um, just in case the dogs here get themselves into trouble, which, these two are, are quite likely to get themselves in trouble. Also got a few extra things in my pack, uh, clothes, uh, some survival stuff if needed, etc. But that's about it. Uh, I'm going to take some uh, pretty good uh, video from this hike, so enjoy. And... So there's nothing I like better than when I get to take the dogs out on the hike. Today, like I said, we're in the beautiful Red Rock kind of canyon area gorgeous rocks and we're gonna head up here to Bell Rock. It's shaped like a bell. What just an absolutely gorgeous view. Dogs had to stop to uh, use the restroom so I figured I'd uh, try and get a little bit of this in the camera but whoa how gorgeous is this entire canyon. All the way around 365. Just beautiful views. Bell Rock kind of right behind me, but man, I wish this GoPro had a better zoom feature because it is so gorgeous that way too. Oh man, 
just surrounded by absolutely gorgeous views. That's uh, Courthouse Rock and Bell Rock right there, kind of right in between the two of them. So as uh, I kind of thought, I mean, I looked at all trails and checked out the map before I started, but it's a pretty flat hike. It's gorgeous. Takes you right up alongside Bell Mountain here. It's pretty nice, pretty sparse. A couple people behind me. Had to slow down a bit to avoid uh, a couple groups in front that have some dogs, so I tried to give them some space and also taking in how basically beautiful and tranquil it is. I guess not every one of us can handle uh, a hike. Morning, everyone. On day two of technically uh, day three of my uh, little adventure to Sedona with some friends, you may be wondering why at what do we got here? 5:23 in the morning, we're driving down a dirt trail. Technically, the dirt trail we drove in last night to stay the night. But we're driving down it to get to. Dragon's Bridge or Devil's Bridge, uh, which reportedly the parking lot fills up sometime around six in the morning. So we're trying to get out of our campsite as early as we can and try and get on down to uh, Devil's Bridge and see if we can beat the uh, rush and get some good photos of sunset. So you may be still wondering what I'm doing up this early, walking in the middle of nowhere. We're going on a hike. All right, the uh, light's finally getting a little bit better. I didn't turn on my light here so you could see the moon right behind us. It's the thing that's peeking its head over my head. Anyway, hopefully a few more minutes to sunrise. It'll be awesome. So there is an option to drive down here. Um, it is a Jeep trail. This uh, Mojave Edition Jeep actually uh, hit it a couple times coming down, but it was uh, it's definitely a pretty steep trail. It was about a mile walk, so not too bad if you do want to walk it. Oh yeah, we're finally getting our first little glimpses of what that sunrise is gonna look like. Absolutely worth it to get out here early. So we made it up here to Devil's Bridge. As you can see, it's not as much of an optical illusion as some people would like to tell you. But it's, it's definitely a decent chasm with just a spectacular backdrop. And you get here early, not much of a line. Reminds me a lot of LA. Lots of traffic. Except it's quite pretty. I have to give it that. Mm -hmm. 
So admittedly, one of the things I like the best about the van life is when you can just come out in the hills like this, find a spot like everyone, drive down a little forest road, seeing where it takes you, and just finding a nice little campsite for the night. It's one thing you really can't do anywhere else, and uh, having a van really gives you uh, a certain sense of freedom, if you will. The only thing that makes the end of the day any better when you're out and just had a great day is when you find just an absolute perfect spot to camp. Not too many people around. Got kind of a permanent resident, I think, here kind of next to us, but otherwise just absolutely gorgeous. So much open room to just do whatever you want to do. Gotta love all that free camping land. All right, if uh, van life can't get any better here, <laughs> what do we have here, okay, Odessa? Okay, so this is go our camping charcuterie board. Um, we'll go ahead and start uh, from the right and we'll come to the left. Uh, the right is gonna be some marinated mozzarella balls in some sort of um, garlic herb marinated Italian herb blend. Uh, we have three types of salami, all uncured. This one's peppered. Uh, herb and then just plain. We have a buffalo cheddar cheese, very spicy, has a little kick at the end. This is some vegan cheddar if you're into that. We have a goat cheese that is covered in uh, blueberries and vanilla. And then in the middle we have just some plain original hummus. We have some pickles for you, multi-grain crackers, and then we have three types of crunchy things for you. We have mixed nuts, we have pistachios that are chili uh, roasted, and then lastly, we have some flax seed with rice and chia seeds that also have a hint of peanut butter in them. Ooh. To top it all off, we have a Napa blend of red wine, courtesy of uh, old ladies inside a <laughs> uh, grocery store for us tonight, and that's gonna be it. <laughs> All accompanied by a perfect fire as we watch the sun set. Well, it's the uh, final day morning of my kind of runaway trip, if you will, uh, having to just kind of get on the road and, if you will, get away from home for, for a few days. Absolutely uh, kind of beautiful we wound up. A few other people pulled in last night with us, but not too bad. Just an absolute great time. Now, unfortunately, it's time I gotta go home. Go back, see the wife, return to the normal life, and get back on what I was doing before I came. Hope you guys enjoyed the video with Chris while I was stuck at home working. But don't worry, I'll be here for the next adventure. Best way to stay tuned and find out what that is is to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.